Government regulators plan to shame car companies into building safer vehicles. They announced today that top safety ratings will be much harder to get. Chris Van Cleve now on what you can expect. The newly proposed standards are so strict there is not a car on the roads today that would earn five or even four stars. Secretary of Transportation Anthony Fox. Our goal is not to just protect people in the event an accident occurs. We ultimately want to eliminate crashes altogether. Among the changes are adding new crash tests, including one focused on angled frontal crashes and new high-tech smart dummies designed to better reflect the injuries people suffer from head to foot. Bottom line, how much safer do you think cars are going to get because of this five-star rating change? We think as automakers get to five stars, we are talking about some of the most significant life-saving opportunities that we've ever seen in automotive industry. National Highway Traffic Safety Administrator Mark Rosekind began the program overhaul a year ago when he took over the agency. Every time NHTSA raises a bar, automakers get there because this is about saving lives, preventing injuries. And there have been discussions. What should their incentive be? Save those lives, prevent those injuries, don't let these crashes happen. Starting with model year 2019, the new car assessment program will include three rankings, adding crash avoidance technology and pedestrian protection to the traditional crash worthiness ranking. It will also include an overall rating. Accident avoidance technology is already making its way into cars, be it backup cameras or automatic braking. Scott, the trade association representing car makers says its members will review this proposal, but it was generally supportive of the changes. Chris Van Cleve in Washington tonight. Chris, thanks.